My name is Monica Luke, member of the CLM Solution Delivery Team. In this video, we'll be exploring how to improve product quality using lifecycle traceability. Lifecycle traceability enables teams to answer the hard questions about the status of their project. Establishing relationships between artifacts helps the team identify and close gaps, ensuring coverage across disciplines. At the same time, lifecycle traceability delivers transparency, which enables everyone to make fully informed decisions based on business priorities. Anything less, and you really don't know what you are delivering and whether what you are delivering will meet your quality or regulatory compliance requirements. It's well known that addressing problems at the earliest possible moment results in higher quality, on-time projects. Lifecycle traceability gives teams the tools to act immediately on quality inhibitors. By default, the out-of-the-box traceability view provided on all plan types is designed to help identify gaps across disciplines. Views are very easy to customize. Here, we are working with our current sprint plan. We will use color tags to identify when a plan item is missing links to requirements and when a plan item is missing links to a test case. We select a color option and add some descriptive text that indicates the condition for showing the color. In this case, we are highlighting items that are missing a requirement. Now we set the condition that causes the highlighting to be shown. We'll repeat the same type of customization to highlight missing test cases in a different color with the corresponding clarifying text. Notice how gaps can be identified on the plan with or without color tagging. To ensure quality in the release, the team lead fixes these gaps, making sure all requirements are planned for and tested. We can see there is a missing test case on the first plan item. Let's address that gap by creating the link to the existing test case. This is done in place without leaving the plan. The correct link type is automatically selected for us. Link types support traceability by defining the relationship between the artifacts in a meaningful way. Also notice that the color indicator has automatically been updated and this plan item is no longer showing any issues. We can also explore details about the artifacts on the other side of the lake directly from our plan, retrieving details for any linked artifact. Practitioners will typically interact with their tasks and traceability helps them as well. Each artifact shows the individual links and the practitioner can inspect the information at the other end of the link. For example, as the developer starts to work on the implementation for a requirement, she can use the link to navigate the web of related software development artifacts as easily as surfing the World Wide Web by starting with the task assigned to her. Lifecycle traceability is available to all team members regardless of discipline. Here we look at the analyst view of the requirements collection. The analyst organizes requirements and supporting artifacts and works with stakeholders and team leads to define, prioritize, and obtain approval on a set of requirements. These requirements are then grouped into a collection and become the committed plan for a release. The analyst can modify the view of the collection to see the links to plan items and test cases related to these committed requirements. Everyone on the team has access to the traceability information, making it easy to keep the team aligned on the vision and avoid feature creep. Ensuring transparency and good communication has a clear impact on improving the quality of the release. Let's take a look at traceability from the tester's perspective. The test plan is linked to the requirements collection and to the release plan, but each test case is also linked to the associated plan item and the requirement that defines both the test case and its implementation. The tester has access to this information for test case elaboration. Traceability provides automatic link linking for capturing test results associated to test cases and for submitting a defect in the context of the test script as it's running and updating all the associated artifacts. Let's take a look at traceability in action by running a test case and submitting a defect upon failure. The tester determines there's a failure on the second step and creates a defect in three clicks from within the test execution environment. Notice that the defect is pre-populated with information from the test case, including the environment and steps that were already successfully completed. The tester completes the test and reviews the failed result, which includes links back to the test case and the test plan for navigation and traceability. Links are created from our new defect to its test case, its plan item, and its requirement. Let's take a look at how this test execution shows up in the traceability view of our plan. 
Notice the Affected by Defect column for the plan item has the defect we just created from the test execution. The necessary traceability links were created automatically to all the other artifacts impacted by it. This happened because the test case and plan item were linked before the test execution. With traceability links, the test result knows which plan item and which requirement it relates to and automatically updates those artifacts with the defect information. This traceability provides insight to the entire project team as to what needs to be fixed in order to resolve the defect. Lifecycle traceability is not limited to views on plans and requirements collections. Out-of-the-box lifecycle queries make it easy to have the information at everyone's fingertips. The testing tab on our dashboard is an example. It has the lifecycle query defects affecting tests in a viewlet. From here you can see the list of blocked tests due to known issues. Our new defect appears on this list. We also have a viewlet called Stories with Tests Not Run. Using this query, team leads can work with the rest of the team to ensure all plan items are tested, thus improving overall quality. In fact, the entire team has visibility into these two key pieces of quality criteria, what tests have failed and what tests are still to be run. These are just two of the out-of-the-box out of lifecycle queries that answer the complex questions needed to know when you are done. Let's take a look at another lifecycle query where our new defect appears. Defects affecting requirements allows the analyst to track quality against plan. Queries can be run as we just did, or queries can be added to the dashboard as we showed earlier on our testing tab. As teams determine what information is most useful for their prospe process, the dashboard can be continually updated. Here we will add the Defects Affecting Requirements query to our testing tab. We've seen some of the ways in which lifecycle traceability improves the quality of the release, including providing bi-directional linking across project artifacts, providing visibility and transparency to all team members, enabling the team to answer the hard questions about the status of the project. We've taken a look at some of the features that facilitate lifecycle traceability, including views that make it easy for project managers and practitioners to identify gaps in coverage, access for practitioners from their own environment to see related work, automatic links created in the course of everyday work, lifecycle queries that make it easy to track open issues and steer the project to higher quality. Some things to consider when evaluating the value of lifecycle traceability for your organization are whether your team can answer these types of questions across disciplines as well as the lifecycle. Can everyone on the team access the information and reach across silos to ensure they are working to improve the quality of the release? If you're interested in more information on this imperative or any of the other five ALM imperatives, please be sure to visit us on jazz.net.